Hi guys, it's James from Plight and Beck Clinic. I wish I could say I've been doing a 20k run, but I haven't. Um, Marion probably has for those of you who know Marion. Talking about snakes at the moment, it's a really important time of year, spring, summer, when unfortunately we see a lot of our pets present to us in a situation where the owners are distressed because their pet may or may not have been bitten by a snake. So what I'd like to do is just run through a couple of quick tips to hopefully help you avoid the situation. Firstly, if you happen to be on a path, which as you're aware, everybody in Geelong knows, along the Barwon River, there's lots of little paths like this. If you happen to see a snake and your dog is on a lead, what I'd probably recommend is don't focus your attention for the dog on the snake. A lot of the dogs like to chase the snake, particularly little terriers. So if possible, casually divert your dog's attention away from where the focus of the snake is. And if that means turning around and walking away, perhaps walking to the side, gesturing as if you're pointing to something, but try and get the dog's attention away from the snake. The second one would be if your dog happens to be off the lead. A lot of people let them run along paths like this and the snake appears. What I'd probably recommend at that point, if you can recall the dog back, that would be fantastic. And again, trying to avoid the dog's attention on the snake. If possible, you can recall the dog back, obviously then just disappear in the other direction. If your dog's right near the snake, I guess this is where it gets a bit more problematic. Again, try and distract your dog make some noise or something to hopefully it scares the snake off. Again, if you can do that, you probably avoid the situation. Unfortunately, once your dog and the snake are in contact, that's where it's a bit more problematic. You don't have to stress about knowing exactly if your dog is bitten, where your dog is bitten. From our side of things, unfortunately, unlike with humans, we don't tend to swab the site exactly where the snake has bitten. It's something I guess we tend to treat with an anti-venom which covers both tigers and brown snakes. So it's less important for us to focus on where the, the bite site is. Again, if your dog's bitten, keep them calm. And I know that's hard, but try and keep them calm. If you can, lift them up and obviously then bring them to the clinic. We are open seven days a week, so if you can, remain calm, call the clinic and say to the reception team, my dog's been bitten by a snake, I'm on the way in. We can then get ready at the clinic, so we're prepared for your dog coming in. Symptoms your pet may have are pretty much nothing at the time, other than perhaps a little bite, uh, squeal, or you know something like that. And from that sort of things, they can get then a transient drop in blood pressure, they can vomit, and then kind of appear okay. So sometimes owners say they hear the dog bite, or you know, get bitten I should say, yelp, and then the dogs are kind of okay. You get this random little period of time where a portion of the dog's kind of okay, and then they become unwell. So if you're all worried, we want to see them as soon as possible, because the quicker we can instigate treatment, the better the prognosis is. As I said, some dogs will collapse, some dogs will vomit, some dogs are shaky. Um, they don't all do the same things, and obviously at some point they then collapse. What I'd recommend is, once you're at all worried, come straight down and we can take care of it. 